here I am on the side of a mountain overlooking a lake in a tent homeless anyways there is mountain lions grizzly bears black bears wolves coyotes and other unknown, unknown things out here to be honest pulling up on the scooters so you might ask yourself why would somebody Let's get it be in a tent on the side of a mountain instead of go to a homeless yeah, shelter jack, well that's just the get thing jack living out here like you don't want to be at a homeless shelter especially if you're a sober homeless person it's really not going to be good for your health in a homeless shelter i end up getting sick when i'm outside living out of a tent, I end up getting stronger and healthier and more fit. That's just how it really is. And no, weed is not a drug. If you think weed's a drug, You've never witnessed real drugs and real addiction before in your life. Trying to go through homelessness, sober, is literally an impossible task. No wonder everybody's on drugs or drinks just to go to sleep. If it wasn't for weed, I would have already completely lost my mind and probably killed somebody and went to jail. Because that's just kind of how it is when you're living in the streets dealing with these elements, dealing with these types of people. A lot can come against you. Everybody's medicated on something. I just choose not to go the pharmaceutical route because it turns everybody into a drug addict. Living outside helped me be around nature. It helped me heal. It helped me focus on my goals and it kept me away from the elements of the street. Addiction, criminal elements, people trying to steal my stuff. Me getting into fights and end up having to go to jail. Anything can happen when you're in the street. But the stigma is that people live outside because they don't want to follow the rules in the shelters. They just want to party and do their drugs and drink. And they're just lazy. They don't, they don't want to deal with authority. They don't want to deal with structure. That's the farthest thing from the truth. Anybody that thinks that hasn't been homeless ever in their life or ever been to a shelter. That's for sure. Look at that thing. He just blended in. It's crazy. And then, of course, tragedy strikes. You're not allowed to be free or be homeless. That's illegal. The city will find your tent and throw it in the garbage. If not, somebody else will. Now, I'm on a fucking mountain, okay? I'm on a fucking mountain in British Columbia on the side of a mountain across from a fucking lake way the fuck far away from everybody and any fucking thing, okay? And I had a fucking tent up here. There's no, no trespassing signs anywhere. There's fucking, it's open entry up here. There's no fences blocking it off and getting up here. No, there's no signs that say no trespassing. And the fucking forest of, uh, Ministry of Forest left me a note, took my tent, all my clothes. All I'm trying to do is survive! Fucking oops. I'm on the middle, I'm in the middle of nowhere! On a fucking mountain, you fucking pieces of shit! Leave people alone. All they're trying to do is live! I needed to lay down right now. I'm tired, man. Fuck! So, a little backstory. Because this has been a cycle that I've been going through since I was 14 years old, off and on. Some people might not understand how this could happen. And people typically just blame the individual. They don't realize what type of things that can happen to a person that can cause homelessness. So, I had a one-bedroom condo in Victoria, BC. It was everything you would want for a place in such a beautiful place like Vancouver Island. It doesn't get much better than that in Canada. And 
prior to having this place, I went through a very prolonged period of homelessness, around seven years. I ended up stumbling upon an opportunity to express myself about how I became homeless for the first time at 14 years old. And I was given the opportunity to stand in front of people who work in government, government officials and others that are in positions to create change in the community. And there was an organization that wanted to create this bridge in between the homeless, the housed, and people who work in government that have the power to create change. So I ended up stepping up to the plate. It wasn't something that I thought that I, I was even capable of doing, but I knew that I had a responsibility and I could see clearly how the system was contributing to poverty and homelessness in many different aspects. So this was my opportunity to turn what I've been through, going through homelessness, into something positive and create impact and change in a positive way.